Hello again. Now the main stories in London. A 16-year-old boy has been arrested on suspicion of the murder of another 16-year-old in Islington. Police were called to Seward Street on the 20th of December where they found two boys with stab wounds. Jamali Samba Baibu died at the scene. A second boy was taken to hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. A third boy has been arrested and remains in custody. It's good news for retailers this Christmas. Figures show footfall increased by 50% this Boxing Day compared to last year. And it's London that has seen the country's greatest increase in shoppers since 2021. Despite rail strikes, central London has seen more than double the visitors it had last year. However, numbers still remain much lower than pre-pandemic levels. Bus drivers in London are striking again today in a dispute over pay. Unite members who work for Abellio on routes in South and West London have walked out. The strikes will continue to run throughout late December and into January, including New Year's Eve. Nearly 60 bus routes, including a school route, will be affected. Unite say support for the strike is growing. If uh, you want an indication of how determined our members are to carry on until they win, Union membership has increased during the period of the strike. So if anything, uh, the support for the strike, uh, the strength of the strike uh, is uh, increasing. Uh, and, and that tells you an awful lot when people are prepared to join a union so they can specifically go out and strike. There are ongoing delays at Paddington Station today after engineering works overran this morning. The first trains of the day were unable to leave on time and services are still delayed now. Crossrail and Heathrow Express trains are not affected. Network Rail has apologised to customers. The NHS is appealing for more plasma donors in London. It's released a new video today showing a mum meeting the woman whose donations saved her life. Plasma was the only way to get me through my pregnancy and ensure a safe delivery. That's the truth of the matter. Without it, I wouldn't be here now and I wouldn't have my baby. Kareen Johnson is a regular donor who helped Lauren Abbery through her pregnancy with plasma donations. There are currently 2,000 active plasma donors in London, but the NHS needs around 4,000 to meet demand. Let's have a look at the weather now. Here's James Wright. ITV London Weekday Weather is sponsored by Octopus Electric Vehicles. Car, charger and energy. Hello there, good afternoon. After a few bright spells earlier, we've got more cloud and some rain on the way. Fairly light and drizzly through the rest of the afternoon. Uh, highs today, 10 Celsius. They're not doing too badly there. Through the evening, though, the rest of the rain will pile its way through and it just daisy chains into the next one. So we don't really lose the wet weather. Temperature-wise, we're looking at uh, lows of 7 or 8 Celsius, so by no means chill, and of course frost-free with all the wet weather around. Tomorrow then we start off with this rain pushing through. It'll just wax and wane through the day, eventually turning a bit heavier before eventually clearing later. Highs tomorrow, 12 Celsius. ITV London Weekday Weather is sponsored by Octopus Electric Vehicles. That's all from us for now. We'll be back at seven o'clock. In the meantime, do have a very good afternoon. Bye-bye.